So yesterday, when I opened up Chrome, I got a notification telling me that uBlock Origin was disabled, and I got the option to remove it. And like an idiot, I did. I pressed the remove button, only to find out around two minutes later that you can keep it working. Wish I knew that at the time. I didn't, but here I am. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to reinstall uBlock Origin, and after, if you still have uBlock Origin, how to re-enable it, because event uh, every now and then, you're going to be getting a notification telling you that, well, Chrome's disabled it. So I'm going to be telling you how to keep it on. So first of all, if I open up uh, Google and I show you, it is still working. It's right there. So if I were to, you can see there's no ads on my homepage. If I were to turn it off real quick, you'll see pretty quickly that I'm going to be getting ads. So got an ad right there for hotels. Got an ad here for some AI. And obviously turn it back on. And yeah, all the ads are gone. So I'm going to start from fresh. I'm going to be uninstalling it real quick. So press remove from Chrome. And there we go. It's gone. So obviously refresh page. Ads are back. So what you're going to do is you're going to go on Google and search Chrome extensions. Do that. Go to the store. Search up uBlock Origin. It's not any of these other ones. uBlock Origin Lite or just uBlock. It's the one with 33,000 reviews. These are probably fake. I don't know what. I just wouldn't touch them. I don't know what they do. But as you can see, the button is blocked out. So what you're going to want to do is either right click and go down to inspect or press F12 on your keyboard. Once that's open, just press anywhere in this new tab. It doesn't really matter where. Press anywhere just to uh, get this tab focused. Then you'll want to hold down control and press F. That's going to bring up the search function. Once you do that, you're going to search up disabled. There should be nine options. If there's not, well, just look for this one here you'll know you have the right one for me it's nine out of nine because when you hover over it you're gonna see that this button here is highlighted so if i go to say this one here nothing happens two nothing happens back to nine this one here is highlighted so once you do that you're gonna take the scroll wheel and you're gonna scroll across until you see the word disabled oh there it is so it's right there it says disabled you're just gonna double press it double click it i mean and just change that word to enabled it's really that simple. And then you can get the word, add the Chrome back. The button's not grayed out anymore. Press that. Add extension. And as you can see, it's right back. And it's working again. So obviously I can turn it off. And I should be getting ads somewhere on this page. Add right there. Turn it back on. And there will be no ads. But every now and then, I'll show you, if I were to cl close all my tabs and reopen up Google, you're going to get this notification. This is what I originally got, and I pressed remove. Don't press that again. Just press up this access tab out. Go on here. Go on manage extensions. And then you press this, turn it back on, and you have it working again. So yeah, that pretty much covers everything. If you found this helpful i'd appreciate a like only so when people click on the video they can immediately tell oh this guy's actually going to give me useful information uh they can't see the dislike so if you want to hit that go ahead uh yeah that's uh pretty much it thanks for watching maybe consider switching to firefox google chrome is a bit shit nowadays yeah see ya